get ready for the big payback. Big payback. Yeah, I can make <laughs> you feel old because uh, that's too from James Brown made famous because when we talk about uh, payback, that's what it, that's what it reminds me of, the James Brown song. And uh, God rest his soul. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, month. ladies and gentlemen, we got some huge payback. And a shocking twist, a shocking turn. Well, one fascist got all the gold now because one team defeated a tag team champion. And also, well, we never know what's going to uh, what's going to happen because the sheriff is here. The sheriff is in hey, town. Hey, everyone. Hey, everyone. This is Sheriff Big C here, Charles Berman. And this is your payback recap. That's All right, right. We have, we're, okay, Becky Lynch defeated Trish Stratus by pinfall. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that happened. But after that, after that, the fans actually uh, thank Becky Lynch. I mean, not Becky Lynch, small shot. Uh, the fans actually thank Trish Stratus. So was that her last match? I think she retired. So we had another edge effect. I think so, but she did great. Oh wow! So <clears> was, <throat> that, was that a good quality match? Well, the ladies always put on a good quality match. What I'm talking about, but was that a good quality match? I'd say that was a four out of five stars. <gasps> Ooh. As Dave Meltzer of um, as Dave Meltzer of um, Wrestling Observer Radio gave it. Oh wow! Yeah, that's got to be good when you give it that. That has got to be good. Yep. L.A. Knight. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Defeated the Miz by pinfall. John Cena served as, as the guest referee. Oh, wow. Yeah, I heard that that was crazy. I mean, I only saw a little bit of the video, but I saw the part when uh, L.A. Knight won. I'm kind of happy that L.A. Knight won because I guess the Miz did his job and put, put him over. Yeah. And um, get this, L.A. Knight was Bray Wyatt's last opponent. <gasps> Stop it. No way. At the Royal Rumble this Uh-oh. past January, at the Royal Rumble this past January this year, remember? I think I do. Don't don't quote me on it, but I believe I do. It was in a pitch black, it was in a pitch black match. Oh, that's why. Okay, that's why. So... I love L.A. Night now. Yeah. Yeah, I stopped stop doing the same at GFP now. <laughs> <laughs> God bless. God rest Wyndham Rotunda. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, what, um, is Raymond, what is up with that? Huh? What's up? I said, what is up with that? What's up? I said, what? What is up with all these wrestlings passing away or something like that? I mean, what, what's going on here? I mean, that's ridiculous. These famous people passing away. I'm not even sure what's going on. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I. yeah. Rey Mysterio defeated Austin Theory by pinfall. Now that was a quality match, but I think Rey Mysterio's getting to hang it up. Oh, so, yeah, I think Triple H may need to do some call-ups at NXT, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because a lot of Hall of Famers are retiring. I I just saw one Hall of Fame podcast movement, mainly two, uh, Jeff Jarrett and Eric Bischoff when I was at Denver. Jeff Jarrett's in, um, in all the wrestling, and he's killing it again. Yeah. Yeah, they were both at podcast movement. And of course, I got to, I was able to fire Eric Bischoff, of course, my city chair. <laughs> um, Judgment Days, Finn Balor and Damian Priest defeated Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Now there's a lot of rumors of why uh the belts were handed over and I think uh now we given over uh given over the judgment day. One, you know, when you have a fashion like that, you have you have so many opportunities to cheat that it's not not even fair. But the other rumor that I that I heard that it may be more sensible is that I think it's either Kevin Owens or 
or Sami Zayn, one of them is injured, and and uh, I guess the either give them time to rest or reboot or I don't or their know, contract but, might be going up. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. But, oh, okay. So that's that's the other rumor. But the rumor that I heard it was an injury. Maybe. Uh, but oh, so it's a contract. Either one. Oh wow! Yeah, there's so many. There's so many speculations. So many. So many odd rumors and stuff like that. Yeah. Rhea Ripley defended defeated Raquel Rodriguez by by pinfall. Oh, how was that match? That was actually a three out of five stars. I didn't watch that one all the way. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, that, yeah, that was actually really good. Oh, wow. Yeah, Judgment Day definitely owns all the gold plus the Money in the Bank match. I mean, the Money in the Bank contract, I should say. Long shot! <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's my Bianca Belfair moment. Bianca Bear. You <laughs> said Bianca Bell. You said Bianca Bell Bear. Yeah, what, what was that pay per view I said that? I think it was elimination. It was the elimination chamber. Elimination chamber. Yeah, it was elimination chamber that I screwed up. Yeah, so that was a, so I give you this Bianca Bear. I mean Bianca Bell Air. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, that's our running joke here in Big D country. All right. That's freaking Rollins to face Shinsuke Nakamura by pinfall. Yeah, that was, a, from what I saw, that was a great match. I mean, my God. I, yeah, I've seen the video of parts of that match. It looked really good. It looked really good. And I loved, yes, and I loved that match. But um, that was actually a, a good, um, I loved the tights that um, Seth Rollins had on that night. The pinstripes he had on the pinstripes he had on his tights was a fitting tribute to his good friend Wendell Rotunda, aka Bray Wyatt. Once again, another tribute to him. Yeah, that is, that is awful. I think it's cool that a lot of these wrestlers, even some of even some of the heels, are doing tribute to uh to uh Bray Wyatt. I think that was really cool. That yeah. Was cool. Ah, okay, LA Knight. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, holy, wow. Holy long shot. Wow. So, uh, I think there was another match, and what that is, because there was, like, very little matches. So, to, to yeah, there was, only six fight, there was only six fights on the card this time. Holy long shot, Sarah. Wow. But I'm... But I'm Jay Uso's back on the WWE, and he's on Raw. Yeah, that was pretty fast. That's, uh, the last time he spoke was, you know, when we said that Jay Uso was going to be spending time with family, and then there was other contest dispute. But I don't think I don't think it was contest dispute. I thought it was like he wanted to spend time with, but that was a quick spending time with the family, I guess. And when I heard that, and I saw the praise effect, and and then when uh, Cody Rhodes said. Jay Uso uh, is coming to Raw. And I was like, wait, like, what? So but soon? And Jimmy, and Jimmy Uso is going, I mean, um, and Ray, and um, long shot. Cody Minute. Rhodes is going to SmackDown. Oh, yeah. Separation. Separation. Woo. So that means, that means Seth Rollins, I mean, blah, 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 blah. darn it, long shot again. What? I think the heat is getting to you, brother. No, 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 it's just, no. It's just because I didn't have my coffee yet. Oh, oh, yeah. Me and the heat, you do not have a coffee yet. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, wow. well, okay, well, I'm just saying because, um, well, well, Buddy Rose is going to be, is, um, has been traded to SmackDown. Oh, ooh. So you think he might get more clout at SmackDown, more opportunities than he did at Raw? Or you might be able to finish the story. That there you go. There you go. Yeah, You're not, I'm not even sure man. about that. Wow. Okay. Holy okay. Really? 
Okay, we're gonna have to go controversial now. We're gonna have we're gonna we're gonna go controversial. So uh, maybe uh, parents uh, parents uh, put the kids to bed or have the kids listen to another podcast or another one of, another one of, my, one of my podcasts or the sheriff podcast or whatever podcast they want to because <laughs> we're, we're getting controversial here. We're gonna get controversial. And like what if? And because I talk about sugar punk. Yeah! What's up? Well, the world wants to know what every every wrestling community thinks about. They're getting different uh, different uh, feedback, and some people said it was good. Some people said that AEW made a mistake. Some people said that uh, their fan base is going to go because because uh, of what happened. And and the last pay per view was in Chicago. Was in Chicago? Yeah, it was. And that's actually a good. That's actually a good thought. Oh, okay, okay. That's actually that's actually a good thought because um, CM Punk did cause a lot of problems in the All Elite Wrestling locker room. Oh. Okay, so here's gonna be here's where it's gonna be the the uh, controversial. I'm gonna play devil's advocate because because hear me out. I'm going to hear both sides of the story. That's right, both sides of the story. I can see Tony Khan couldn't take it anymore, unlike where uh, Vince McMahon said time to let it go, let things go, and let CM Punk be CM Punk. And, and then, you know, he just said, okay, if we're going to have an AEW, more AEW brand, where we're, we're going to call the shots, CM Punk can't be around him no longer. And as much as the chagrin of the fans in Chicago, uh, they didn't get to see that because he was fired. Now, now, that's Tony Khan's side. I can see his side. Now, to the fans that are CM Punk loyalists, and some people even grew up with CM Punk, uh, the cult of personality star. And so I could see that, you know, he was uh, like uh, like one of those, you know, you can't you can't tell me what to do. The kind of stuff, sort of like DS, sort of like a Stone Cold, sort of like uh, oh, who else was like that? But there were some others that that were like that, so trying to be pioneers in wrestling. And you know, he tried he was trying to bring you know newness and trying to spit the truth every time he was in the mic uh, that he was uh, you know, doing for either Raw or SmackDown, but mostly on Raw. And my favorite one was when the uh the raw was on strike. That was my favorite promo. And uh he was like it was him, it was John Cena, it was Sheamus, all in the ring was Triple H, the only one in the ring was Triple H and uh uh CM Puck was the uh commentator. Uh but uh that was one of my, my favorite moments of CM Punk. My most favorite moment. But the controversial is Go ahead. But that was kayfabe when that happened. But this was actually an IRL. Inf- this is actually was IRL. He caused a lot of backstage problems. Oh wow! He caused a lot of fights with a um, bunch of other wrestlers like Jack Perry. I heard that. Yes, I heard about that. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> yeah, he caused a lot, a lot of problems. I don't see him working in any other wrestling company ever again. Oh, okay. So, okay, you just segue me into the other part of the controversy because because now there's rumors circling that CM Punk might be coming back to WWE. You just segue me in. I don't know. There's too much. There's too much with that. Too much. Well, we're gonna see because uh, you know there there's some fans that might welcome it, and some fans that just said. Nah, I just won't watch when CM Punk is on. I watch for the other wrestlers, you know, like LA Knight or or uh, Rey Mysterio or you know their favorite. But I won't watch when CM Punk is on. But uh, but it's, it's very, very, it's very, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very confusing thing. Yeah, I don't know. So, 
So uh, do you have anything else to add to make this uh, fair and balanced as well? To be honest with you, it's just a what if. Ooh. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's really, really... I mean, it's, it's really confusing. I mean, I have no idea. All of this came, all of this came after we had two prominent deaths in wrestling and then also uh, also on a game show side with uh, on the prices, right? But the problem, the problem was, it's like he came too soon right after we just saw two high-profile wrestlers. I think it should have waited at least after the dust settled with the deaths and, you know. Yeah, so of- he's going to... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so he shouldn't have taken. He shouldn't have taken this opportunity too soon. It's too early. And it, yeah, I, I agree. I agree. It was way. It was way too early. It was way, They should. They should have waited. They should have waited until after the dust settles, and then whether they fire him or not, then they they could have waited until after then. And maybe they could have fired yeah. him then. Yeah, that was that was. I'm that sorry. Was CM Punk is just way too controversial. Yeah. I mean. He's just way too controversial in the ring. He's way too controversial. I don't think he should be ever near ever in near a wrestling ring ever again. So you think that he should either stick to uh he think you see he should either stick to uh uh smaller venues or just plain old retire. Okay. Anywho, I'm Deshaun, because that's just my thought, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, yeah. That's our fair and balanced. Anyway. <laughs> uh, you know, I just love talking wrestling with you. I mean, we, you know, we, we talk about all things wrestling. We talk about the shows, and we just got controversial and all like that. We did a fair and balanced analogy. That's what I get for listening to me. That's a lot cheaper, but that, one, that was just an idea, though. It's just a thought. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Are we supposed to be Americans? Well, supposed to be. Well, this one, well, this one was uh, from a wrestling standpoint, though. But what the heck? Yeah. I mean, it's. I mean, it happens. It happens. Yeah. Anywho, um, thank you. Anywho, thank you everyone for so much for tuning in on this episode of the Big D Zone Podcast. That's right. Don't forget for all those that live in uh, YouTube County and Big D Country, uh, don't forget <laughs> to like, don't forget to subscribe and share the video, share, share, share. And oh, don't forget about livecouture.com slash Big D Country. Yes. Where's where's my where's my people that want to give healthy and wealthy? Uh, LiveGood dot com slash fifty country is the place to go. Uh, join Live Good. It's yeah, it's still around. It's still around there. Yep. You know, they're not disappearing. Okay. Yep. Yep. And um, is there supposed to be an NFL pickup anytime soon, Deshaun? Uh, yes, I did two weeks early because I was afraid that I was going to get a nervous breakdown, and of course, the he does not let me up. Oh, yeah, I did. I already did two weeks early, but I do, I do have to do the aftermath of week one and week two. See, I don't include the, uh, I don't include the preseason at all when I when I do NFL pickups, and I and that's fine with me. Ah, uh, gotcha. So, yeah. So I just stick go straight to the regular season, then the playoffs, and then the uh, and then the uh, the Super Bowl. I don't even do the I don't even uh-huh. do the Bowl. So. Ah, got it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for everyone for listening and watching this episode of the Big D Zone. Whoa, 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 Cheryl! <laughs> Aren't you forgotten about your podcast? How people can get, get your podcast? Oh, by the way, every Thursday on YouTube and on the Facebook side, we have the STL Ocarina Podcast. That's we right. Up, we talk about upcoming events, new products, and much more. And by the way, if anybody can find uh, more Buffett's salt and pepper shaker, uh, please uh, send them back to Margaritaville, please. 
<laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I was thinking all about nice. that joke. <laughs> Nice one, day, Sean. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. By the way, thank you, Warren Buffer. Uh, thank you, Bob Barker. Thank you, Bray Bray Wyatt. Thank you, uh, thank you, um, Terry, Funk. Terry Funk. And most importantly, most importantly, thank the queen, the one that almost had a nervous breakdown over. Thank the first and original queen of Big D Country, the beautiful, the one, the only, Teresa Denel Porter. Thank you so very much. So, you know uh, what? Make the big D zone great. Exactly. Okay, Donald Trump. <laughs> nah, 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 no Donald Trump. I'm just, you know, just Charles Burns. I know, I know. Okay, so I'm going to let you go ahead and close out the program since you did so well. Thank you so much, everyone. We'll see you next time. <laughs>